That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody <laughs> knows the answer, I'd like to hear it. We are the blood and chrome orphans. <laughs> This is the blood and chrome orphan row. <laughs> you don't know. The question is, where do you guys want blood and chrome? Yeah. 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 It's back in TV. <laughs> 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 <That's the answer. laughs> All right. Um, this was, well, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Janet Osborne asks. She wants to know how the unique names of so many of the characters came about, names like Gita and Sushan and Ryoben. Maybe we have a few writers here who can answer that. <laughs> um, Doc Cottle was my family doctor as a kid. <laughs> he, he, was, he was kind and generous and warm, and that's how I repaid him. <laughs> Did he smoke? <laughs> no, he did not smoke. <laughs> there, you'll find shout outs to several people that we know. This was before that great big thing happened at CBS where everybody got sued for that. So there are names in there like Davis, uh, Anson Davis, who you have never get to see, who is actually my wife. And, and um, oh, there will be a couple of guys like. Uh, Oh, we said Cairo, who he actually is the call sign of a teacher at the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California. Ooh, or Ensign Harder, I think, <laughs> I forgot his name, Byron Harder, who is a captain of the United States Marine Corps that we knew that came down and was a big fan of the show. So you'll find those little things in there along with names like Gaeta and Gaius, which is old Latin names that Ron was very keen on and Leo Ben, and, uh, and you know, Ron often pronounced the names different than everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I think that happened on the show a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Like, Harold Stanton like Hera's name. Yeah. Grace and I would say, we'd, we'd say Hera. But a lot of people on the show, and a lot of fans would be like, they, they said Hira. it different. Hira. How do you say it? Yeah, they'd say Hera. Hera. Yeah. A, We're her parents. <laughs> 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 I might have messed it up, but that's, that's how you say it. And that was, by the way, that was that name was picked because uh, that was the mother of the gods, and that's what that baby was going to end up being. Yes, you caught it, and that's why we did it. All right, we have a question from Ed Cormier. He wants to know if any of you think that Galactica has an afterlife on the big screen, kind of like Star Trek does. Well, the short answer to that is, do you want Ron attached to it, and do you want this Galactica? Because the answer to that is no. Um, they've been doing other Galactica projects starting over from the beginning. We have yet to see them on the screen, but they're doing them all the time. And making deals, and unmaking deals, and pitching stuff. And that's because the feature rights still belong to Glenn Larson. And he gets to give them to whoever he wants. Television and the feature would be entirely separate. I've heard through the rumor mill that it's Brian Singer yeah. who's involved, right? The president knows. <laughs> <laughs> she would. <laughs> well, I, I would just like to add that um, you know Brian Singer and and his team were developing a version for television before and what ultimately led into the version that we're all here for. And I feel very much about it the way that, that I know Sue Phillips felt about my involvement in, in the new show. He, he scored the old one, and, and I think he felt sort of like I was some punk kid coming in and writing music for, you know, for the new Galactica. But, you know, he really warmed up to what to what we did on our show and really became a fan and, and I worked very closely with him and I feel very grateful that I got to, to borrow Battlestar Galactica and put my spin on it and everyone else up here got to do the same and if they if someone else wants to do the same I mean really it, it wasn't our show we just made our own spin on it and you know maybe a new version will get to do the same and so certainly I'm you know I'm looking forward to seeing whatever they end up uh, doing with it if anything Happy birthday, Thank you <laughs> 
Maybe everyone Thank should sing you. Happy yeah, Birthday Yeah, today there. is Bear McCreary's birthday. Thank you. Um, I also, 
will let you guys be the first in the world to know. I just finished scoring a little pilot called Battlestar Galactica Blood and Chrome. <laughs> fellows up here have said, and, and, uh, but one of, the, one of the special things about being here is, yeah, we put the pens down a while ago on this show, and yes, Blood and Chrome came, and it hasn't quite gone yet, but it's, <laughs> it still has some sort of life in it, they keep beating on it, but the fact that you guys are here after this has been over, but it's not over, and we have the, the materials here that things upstairs, and all of you, and that just makes me feel so wonderful with something that we all ended up loving, we still love. Um, anyway, so I got lucky again, we're, we're again always looking for something that's, that's going to be that exciting to do again, and I got to work with Mark and David and Remy, who helped get you guys Caprica, and... Uh, on falling skies, and um, there's potential there, but we're again always looking for how can we do something that's going to get this reaction <laughs> from ourselves and from y'all. And so. Michael and I, when we were upstairs, this is my first time here, I didn't, I didn't get to come last year, and uh, I felt proud, I felt sad, I missed it, I really missed it. It's, just, uh, it's funny, it hasn't been that long, it's been like four years, but yeah, it just really made me miss it. But I have to say, I mean, everyone's already mentioned it, but you guys, you guys are incredible. The reason the show was as successful as it was is because the fans, um, the most intelligent fans, I've been approached by fans all over the world, it doesn't matter where I am. It's 4 a.m. in the middle of a bar, <laughs> you know, That'd at breakfast at some small cafe in London, uh, Sofia, uh, Bulgaria, like everywhere. And uh, our fans are super intelligent and passionate and loyal and they're incredible. Just, I still encourage you to pass the word. People need to watch this show. Yeah. So yeah. do it. And I'm really proud of the fact that the show is still growing. It seems like that in popularity. And people are always saying, listen, my friend got me to watch it. But tonight I had 10 people in the period of 30 seconds who were like, my friend got me to watch the show. I watched the show. That's amazing. <laughs> so, but they just got on it recently. And they did, like you said, the Portlandia thing. People <laughs> crack up. They <laughs> lose their jobs. They hold themselves up. They can't stop watching. <laughs> I'm looking forward to doing that again myself someday. I've only watched the series once. That's when he was on. <laughs> you were like, what? How dare? Oh. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> I haven't had the time. I haven't wanted to. I'll weep the whole way through. <laughs> I'm going to do it again soon. I'm not sure when. I'm going to have a bunch of time off. And I'm going to hold myself up and I'm going to watch it on Blu ray. And I'm going to have enough money that I have this <laughs> in my living room. Sit there and I'll watch all. How many episodes did we do? <laughs> all, all of them. All of them. And I won't leave. Anyway, thank you guys. It's a pleasure being here and thanks for supporting us. Yeah.